my name is Erica. I'm an engineering manager at Monitor App. Today, I'm here to talk about Web Application Firewall Virtual Edition that you could deploy on your cloud environment. And stick around till the end to find out how you can get a one month subscription to our Web Application Firewall. So, because of the nature of the web server, it is always exposed to provide service, and 80% of the hacking incidents happen on the web. Unfortunately, hackers get better and better every day, and it is our job to proactively defend against them. So our web application firewall is deployed on the cloud environment, and there are several uh, benefits to having your virtual appliance deployed on cloud. Now a lot of industries are moving their servers to the cloud because of a lot of benefits and its flexibility. And the same benefits of that cloud server applies to the web application firewall as well. Um, unlike the traditional hardware appliances, uh, it has no initial cost and there's, like I said, there's no hardware required. Uh, it is easily scalable whenever you want. It is pay as you go, so there's no initial cost and there's no maintenance cost and there's no contract required. Deploying web application firewall also gives you that flexibility and agility. Our web application firewall supports all hypervisors, uh, doesn't matter what brand. Uh, we run on our own operating system based on Ubuntu. So our minimum requirement is one core with one gigabyte of memory, but we highly recommend two core and four gigabytes because uh, depending on the system allocation, the performance might vary. So for optimum uh, level of performance, we recommend two core and um, four gigabytes. So this is our uh, WAF VE configuration. So basically what you would have to do is change your DNS setting to route to our web application firewall. And all your traffic will filter through our web application firewall and then safely make it to your server and you know make it back. So there's a couple things that are really great about our web application firewall. And one of it is that we have multiple web server protection. I know a lot of servers have multiple domains and that's when our WAF comes really handy. It's because with one account, we could serve multiple domains. We also perform health check on your web server constantly to make sure um, your server is functioning correctly, that nothing is down. Uh, we also provide load balancing. We provide a couple options, hash, you know, least correction, round robin, latency. You could pick whichever one. This is why our web application firewall is so great because you could use as is with all this default setting and it works perfectly, right? But if you have a server that requires a very detailed uh, options and policy settings, then we do provide that for you. So whatever you need, we're here. All our products, including our web application firewall, comes with a profiling technology. We gather all the attack data and we run it through our self-learning engine to distinguish different behavior and signature of normal traffic and abnormal traffic. So through those profiling technology, we have our threat intelligence system that manages policy reinforcement and you don't have to update anything. They are virtually patched um, constantly. So there's no need for you to update. We try to make things as easy as possible. We do support HTTP2 protocol. I know a lot of, peop um, a lot of people have been asking if we support it and yes, we do. We support HTTPS traffic because everyone these days uses HTTPS, no one really uses HTTP anymore. But because of that, we do need a certificate and key in our web application firewall, but we try to do our best to make it as easy as possible. We support multi-domain certificate. Uh, you don't have to convert anything. Uh, we do support various extensions. We also have uh, automatic cipher suit syncing. So you just have to click one button. You don't have to like manually go in and do all that. Uh, we also notify you. I know some of you have a lot of domains and it's hard to get, you know, hard to keep track of. So we will notify you before the certificates expire. But if in any case you forget to do so, instead of getting blocked on our web application firewall, we'll bypass the traffic. That way you have a continuous service. So as I said before, we support multi-domain policy. We also support 
multi-admin. So let's say you have uh, three different domains, uh, domain A, B, and C. So you could set one master admin to look over all policies of A, B, and C, and maybe another domain admin to look over just A and B, and maybe another, you know, another admin to only look over A. So each each of those admins only have control over policy settings of the domains that they're assigned to. We also provide quality of service settings so that uh, important traffic could go through. Because our web application firewall functions as a proxy, um, some of you might be worried that all the traffic that comes through our WAF uh, will have our WAF's IP address. We have a policy that could be applied to reveal the actual client's IP, so you don't have to uh, worry about not being able to reveal the original IP. Thank you for sticking with us. Now we're at the fun part, which is the demo. On the dashboard, you can see your server activity in just one glance. The dashboard allows you to see status of all your domains as well as specific domains. Right now, I only have one domain, but if you have multiple domains, uh, this could come in very handy. Now we move on to the log analysis, which has detection log view. So this is the simplified view, simplified search view, and you could expand this and you could search by different types such as OWASP vulnerability, detection types, and so on and so on. Right now I have it set for one month. So let's say you want to search by detection type, you apply, and the search result or search history gets automatically get recorded at the top. You could erase this if you wish to. Now the search results already give you plenty of information about the time of the attack, the IP and etc. But if you want even more information, you could click on the magnifying glass icon and you could see more detailed information. And now you could do this at the policy setting, but if you would wish to, you could whitelist or blacklist an IP just from the log results as well. Now, this is another great feature on our WAP, which is the machine learning analysis. Before I get into this, all our products are linked with AICC, which is our threat intelligence analysis platform. And you could actually visit this platform. This It's all open to the public. I'll link the address in the description. The platform learns new threats every day and categorizes them. And this gets linked into our WAF. And that's what you can see here. So if you click on the machine learning analysis, you can see uh, what attack it registered as. So. Now you can see that this is a percentage, by the way. So closer it is to one, higher the chance that it's that specific attack. Now this register, this barely registered as an attack because uh, this is the log, this is the attack that I created when I was testing and I didn't want to attack my domain too harshly, I guess. And if you go down to the bottom, you can see more information. And you could even set an exception URL registration here, as you could do in the policy setting. Let's go to the audit log view. This is great if you have multiple administrators and you want to monitor their actions. It will show you which administrator performed which action. And you could have a very detailed search result for this tab as well. And you can also download the search results. Let's go to web server status log. Our WAF performs a health check on your server to make sure that it's still responding and it will log the status here. Currently I have that function turned off and if you use the function you can view the past status and also download the report as well. Now I know a lot of you security officers out there have to make security reports and we did our best to make that easiest for you. Uh, we offer very detailed and customizable log settings. You can download it as a PDF or Excel sheet for all domains or specific domains with only the items that you want to show up on the report. You can create the report with the settings that you would like. And once it appears here, you can simply click and download the report. Now web traffic report is self-explanatory and we offer once again very customizable report setting to suit your needs. We also offer a web accelerator report, which can contain web cache hit rate, hit count, and size. 
next to system report, which shows the system status. Now the policy setting report, the default setting is to report on all policies, but you can easily pick the ones you would like to report on. You can also create reports on specific domains, which is great if you have multiple domains. Report setting can give you a peace of mind by automatically sending you the reports that you need. You choose how often you would like to receive reports, if any at all, and which reports in what format. Let's move to the policy settings. As I mentioned before, monitor apps AI WAF works great just with the default setting, but if your server has specific needs, they can be set right here. We have uh, three operation modes, which is bypass, detection mode, block mode. Right now I set it on detection mode because I'm using it as a detection appliance, not a firewall. In the admin policy, you could set policy settings. The main page is a simplified, easy to apply setting dashboard. And after you hit the ones that you would like to select, simply apply policy. And for any detail settings, you could go to the corresponding menu and simply set the policies and click add rule. There is also domain policy if you're operating multiple domains with different policies. You can also have a policy testing to see which type of request gets categorized as which attack. This is also a feature that can come in handy for some of you out there. Now last but not least, configurations. Now the administrator setting is great if you have multiple administrators. If you want to add an administrator, simply click add and the administrator will have only the permission that you allow them to have. So you could make the administrator not have the monitoring permission, but have log analysis and reporting or no policy settings, but everything else. It's very customizable. Now the rest are general settings such as system settings, not for IPs, backup server setting, uh, network interface configuration setting, etc. And then service control setting for restarting some services or shutting the whole system down. Now, I really appreciate you sticking around with us to see our demo. Uh, if you have any questions, please direct them to our sales or our technical engineers. And I really appreciate your time and I hope to see you again. Bye bye.